Back row and action. I'm Andy Baker from the National Geographic Channel, and we are here in Ellenville, New York. We're shooting a short film called Before Mars, which is essentially the prequel story to the global event series coming called Mars on the National Geographic Channel in November. We're telling the story of two of our main characters from the show Mars when they were teenagers and first began to be inspired to want to someday take a great journey to the red planet. This is really exciting for us for the channel because it is such a different way to tell the story. To take these characters that have been established in the show Mars and tell their backstory. So in this story, the basic idea is they move into a new home and in that home they find this old ham radio. Hello? Through a process of discoveries and adventures, they realize this ham radio can actually contact the International Space Station. So yesterday we filmed the most important scene, probably the entire film, which is the final scene where Hannah goes on this adventure, this quest to get a better signal so that she can talk to an astronaut in the International Space Station. And it was real challenging because the script, we have written this big rainstorm that stops Hannah and she has to go into a cave and then her, her radio breaks down and then she still climbs to the top and then she finally reaches and makes a connection with this astronaut. But of course we had a perfectly beautiful blue sky day so we had to figure out how can we still tell this story. So we had some rain machines, we had some big trucks with lots of water on them to create this big rainstorm. And you know then she hikes up to the day and it's very challenging because our crew were hiking up and down these mountains, we're moving to this really remote location. But in the end, as she's in the mountaintop and the storm has cleared, we got this perfect evening, perfect skies, nice little wind coming through. As we were filming it, I was getting goosebumps as she was talking to the International Space Station. And it was a really powerful moment and uh, it was exciting to see how all these different variables and so many different things that come together uh, to make a scene like that happen, when it all clicks, it's a, it's a pretty magical thing. Can I ask you a question? Of course. What does the Earth look like from way up there? It's bright and colorful, hopeful. It looks like home.